Jai Baba, my name is Meher Rusbe Bharucha and welcome to the series of A Slice of Life. Today, my father and I are going to be discussing certain issues that most children, adults and teenagers face. Ready? Okay. How do I handle someone who is very strict and dominating? I don't like it and it creates a lot of turmoil, sadness and a feeling of rebelliousness and even depression at times. How do I handle this karma? How do I handle this? Karma calmly. Wow. Not my question. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> two things. Let's assume this is happening with somebody in your family. Father, mother, brother, sister, grandparents, uncle, aunt. Let's assume it's happening with your core family. It's happening with your teacher. Someone who you can't distance yourself away from. Remember, if someone's attitude is negative and is pulling you down and if you can distance yourself away from that person, you physically distance yourself away from that person. That's the easiest way out. Let's say a friend is negative, a friend is putting you down, a friend is very aggressive. You realize this friend, I don't think I will be able to sustain. So you ease yourself out of that relationship. Right, ma'am? Right. But you can't do it with your boss. You can't do it with your spouse. You can't do it with a parent or a sibling. You can't do it with your spouse. Yeah, you can do it with your spouse, <laughs> I agree. But uh, you can't do it with other members of your family. So what do you do? Uh, I think what you need to do is this. You can't change people. People are not going to change. They will remain aggressive, no matter how much conversation you have with them. So, physically you cannot detach yourself from that person. But mentally and emotionally you detach yourself from that person. I have a question. What if, you know, that person is not like this always? They have, maybe a situation has changed their behavior or a certain current phase has changed their behavior. Then it is circumstantial. And, and it's been a really long time where that situation and phase has passed. But that person... Has not changed by Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you feel hurt that this person was always like this with me. What has happened? And you know, you take a back. It's difficult for you to emotionally detach your feelings from that person. I agree, sweetheart. Okay. I agree, sweetheart. It is difficult. But you don't have an option. Otherwise, you are going to be hurt constantly. Can you tell us how to detach yourself? Maybe? See, let us assume, let us assume, I know that this person is going to react in a particular way. You have done something, you show it to that person and that person is going to say, yeah, yeah, it's okay, go now. You know it. To get hurt every time that person behaves like that is stupid. You should be now mentally ready that the person is going to behave like this. That is how you detach yourself from the circumstance. I am not telling you detach yourself from the person. I am telling you, detach yourself from the circumstances around that person. What if sometimes that person acts very, um, how do I put it, um, mood just keeps on changing. You can't predict that person. Unpredictable. I, unpredictable. Sweetheart, that is what I am trying to say. I know, I have known a lot of unpredictable people. And I have realized that the only predictable thing about those people is unpredictableness. So I am ready about it. I am ready. I know this person can go completely gaga or completely nuts. I am quite clear when I am with that person, okay, this person can go either up north or down south. That person is not going to remain on the equator. That is, I am sure of that. So, mentally you are ready for it. So, in the end, that person cannot hurt you. See, man. People are not going to change, sweetheart. You have to insulate yourself. You have to protect yourself. How will you do it? 
by being calm very important and not allowing somebody else's mood swings to affect your mood i've told you many times don't lower yourself down to somebody's level don't lower yourself down to somebody's level i think when i used to reach my threshold i would do that a lot we are human beings we all have our thresholds what we've got to do is raise the bar of our threshold raise the bar of our threshold i tried yes i can, I can just say i tried i know you tried sweetheart but uh, what to do i i know it didn't work but you know uh, then you distance yourself then you distance yourself but as i told you sometimes you cannot distance yourself how do you distance yourself from your child how do you distance yourself from your parent if you are working how do you distance yourself from your boss you might have a lunatic as a boss what do you do what do you say i am going to leave the job are you got a family to support you can't just leave the job man but you can't allow the boss's madness and temperamental derangement to affect you no so you are still that idiot is going around around in circles but you are still how do you become still by breathing yes by my breathing my favorite by becoming calm by not reacting going back to the moment moment the same old <laughs> gasa pita dialogue of that okay okay jai baba jai baba